Well, all week the U.N. General Assembly held hundreds of events covering a wide range of topics. A familiar face discussed the topic of animal conservation at one of those events. You may know Nikolai Coster-Waldo as Jamie Lannister on Game of Thrones, but he's also a goodwill ambassador for the United Nations Development Program, and he sat down with our own Mary Calvi. This seems like such a simple solution to such a large global problem. Yeah, and that's the beauty of it, right? So you have uh, the idea is uh, every ad spend that features animals, um, uh, you will donate 0.5% uh, uh, of that spend to this fund. Um, and uh, that in itself is a small number for, for any ad. Uh, but of course, if you have a lot of companies that join up, if you have big companies like Mars, it can really generate a lot of uh, a lot of money uh, to help uh, you know animals around the world. How much do you hope to raise? Well, as much as possible, of mm -hmm. course. Uh, there's, a, but the project is very ambitious. Uh, the hope is uh, within three years to raise 100 million dollars, and of course that that then you know every year you could add another 100 million dollars. So with that kind of money, uh, you can actually make a, a real impact. We would early want to sign up. We're one of the top 10 advertisers in the world and if all of the top 10 advertisers in the world signed up that would be generating 47 million dollars a year. So you know the, the, so there really should be no upper limit for this and there's really no good reason for any company not to be involved. That's a remarkable amount of money that yes. you're talking about. How do you think this would actually affect wildlife and make a change? Well I think well, it would make a huge change. The, the, the thing is, you need money to, to, to make this kind of impact because some, some places you, 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 you have to be able to, to buy up land because we're losing a lot of land and, and, and these, uh, a lot of these endangered species uh, uh, are losing out to, to farming, to all kinds of things. And at the same time, it has to be sustainable. You have to give uh, the people living there uh, you know, alternatives. And so by going in in a private fund, it liberally gives, gives you a certain kind of freedom that you can't have when you go in as a government. This is a simple action that we're being involved with, uh, but there are so much more. And I know, you know really consumers should ask more of business, expect more of business and really use the power of their wallet to back the businesses that are driving positive change. You're so involved with this, but before we let you go, I have to congratulate you on all of the Emmys for the Game of Thrones. What's that number this year? I, I think it was uh, nine in all for the show. It was, it was, yeah, it's astounding. All right, so you have your final season coming up. Is there one little nugget you can give us about your character and what we can expect? Um, well, well, the show will, season eight will start uh, right after uh, season seven. Okay, yeah. gotcha. That's that's all. That's I can it. Tell you. <laughs> no uh, Game of Thrones, the movie coming out or anything like that that we could expect. I feel like a movie, but you'll have to watch it. <laughs> Would uh, you sign on though if there was? Oh, if there was a movie, uh, sure, sure. All right. Yeah. Well, we've got one then checked off. Yeah. Wonderful, gentlemen. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Really appreciate you coming in to talk to us about Lion Share. And you can find out more information about Lion Share on our website, cbsnewyork.com.